Hi, my name is Gail Woodrow and I'm a Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. Today, I'm going to talk about our two different skincare lines that Norwex offers. We have our Naturally Timeless line, which comes in our green packaging, and we also have our Lassier line, which comes in our clear white packaging. So this is the day cream, this is the night cream. I don't have the Naturally Timeless line to show you, but if you look in our catalog, you will see that it comes in green packaging. Now, both lines are vegan, uh, not tested on animals. Both lines are suitable really for all skin types. However, there are some differences in both skincare lines that you might find you like one better over the other. The Naturally Timeless line has anti-aging properties to it, uh, has firming, helps to firm up the skin, reduce wrinkles and fine lines, and also is, I find, more moisturizing than the Lassier line. That line tends to be best used on dry skin, more mature skin types, or in the winter time when your skin tends to be a little drier and you need a little added moisture. The Lassier skincare line um, is a little bit lighter formulation, great for all skin types. I am more of a mature combination skin type. I prefer the Lassier line because I am oily in my T-zone and I do find it uh, works really well for my skin. It does give me the right boost of moisture by using the night cream at night and uh, so that's what I do. All right, so why don't we get right to it? The first thing you wanna do is cleanse your skin. I have just gotten out of the shower, so my skin is clean, but we do have three options that you can use to cleanse your skin. Of course, our first one is our body cloth, or these are our face cloths, and that you want to wet and wring out and feel like you leave about a quarter cup of water in it, so mine is damp. Then we have our makeup removal cloths, and mine has some makeup stains on it, and that's okay, it still works. This, when I use, I tend to use the makeup removal cloth for removing my makeup, because it is a little bit more gentle on the skin. It's not quite as exfoliating as our body cloths. So I get this really nice and wet with hot water, and then I just wring it out this way, and when I'm removing my makeup, I always start off with my eyes, and I leave it pressed on for uh, you know, a minute to soften up my mascara and I re remove my eye makeup and then I follow with the rest. Afterwards, I tend to rinse it under hot water and I do put a drop of our stain remover on it to help remove any like mascara stains because I just don't like to see the stains. And our third option is when you need to exfoliate your skin, which you should only do about twice a week. And we have our teal exfoliating mitt. You wanna get this wet. You want to rub in very gentle circles in an upward motion. And you can exfoliate, as I mentioned, about twice a week. You don't wanna to be too aggressive. You would rinse this. Uh, and then what I do, this is just like the makeup cloth. So that's what that feels like. I get this wet, I squeeze it out, and then in an upward motion, I just go in and remove all the dead skin from my face. So those are our three cleansing options. A lot of it is just preference on what you like. And since I've already cleansed my skin, I'm just going to very gently dab on um, with my body cloth just some water just to dampen my skin when you are cleansing your skin and applying your skincare routine, you always want to do it on damp skin. So I'm talking a little bit today and so my skin's drying up a bit. I always first start off with an eye cream. That is what I like to start off first. And the eye cream, I use just a very small amount and I put it on my ring finger, I dab the eye cream between my two ring fingers, so that's enough. And then I'm just going to gently pat and go in an upward motion right where my crow's feet would be. You do not want to apply any product around your eyes. That is not, I always like to get my creases. <laughs> that is not meant for your eyes because the product can seep and creep into your actual eyes and then just cause you some um, discomfort. So I gently pat upwards uh, sometimes I put a little extra where I need it. 
And then I follow through with a serum. Now, each line, whether you're talking about the Naturally Timeless or the Lassier line, we have an eye cream, we have a serum, we have a day cream and a night cream. And then I follow through with the Lassier Illuminating Oil. And here you want to do between three to five drops. And I do, if I can get it open, I do about uh, four drops in total. Because uh, it's winter, I just gently rub a little bit between my fingers. And then I pat the product on. And I'm going to do a couple more drops here so I can get the rest of my skin. So I'm just going to gently pat that on. Because you don't want to pull and tug on your skin. And then in just very short, light strokes, going in an upward motion, I'm just going to make sure that I have evenly distrib distributed the product everywhere. And I always like to get the back of my neck. Now you've probably noticed that I'm applying product from my chest to my forehead. And when that is what your cleansing routine should be, you should cleanse from the chest to the forehead. And same with applying any creams, you should apply it from the chest to your forehead because especially we wanna make sure we get our neck and our chest because our chest is often exposed. A lot of times we forget about our necks and it will age faster than the rest of us if we don't do that. And you always want to apply your skincare in an upward motion as well because gravity tends to pull everything down. Now, because it's daytime, I am going to apply the Lissier Day Cream. And I find my day cream, I do one full pump. I pat, I just gently put it on there so that I can get an even distribution. Just kind of pat it in and then gently going in an upward motion. There we go. And I put my day cream on. Now because I, once again, back of my neck, and because I tend to be a little oilier, I tend to do my cheeks first and then whatever sort of residue I have on my fingers is what goes on my forehead. At night, I will do two full pumps of the night cream, one for my face and one for my chest and neck. Now, some people ask, why do we have a day cream and a night cream? What's the difference? At night is when your skin regenerates itself. So we tend to put more emollients and uh, moisturizing ingredients in night creams. In the Naturally Timeless line, the creams come in a jar and you get a little spatula with it. Please make sure to use the spatula as you do not want to dip your dirty fingers in the uh, creams because we carry a lot of bacteria underneath our fingernails and you can contaminate your product and get a nasty rash that's called contact dermatitis and you want that. So you wanna make sure that you never put your fingers in your jars, that you always use a spatula to do so. All right, so these products are sold separately in the catalog, or you can always buy them as a package to get a bit of a better deal. You might be thinking, I really don't know which one is right for me. I would suggest that you start off with the Lassier line as it's a little lighter in formulation and you can kind of tweak it from there. You might like a couple products from the Lassier and maybe you need to use some from the Naturally Timeless. All right, everybody, have a great day.